no salaries, we're all volunteers. In fact, any costs are sponsored or picked up by someone, by a business. We utilize our business networks. This is where you know it, it, it all sort of fits in nicely. We've got somebody picking up the tab for everything so that any donation that is made to us goes in its full 100% form to um, where it's intended. And we get a huge amount of support for that. And it's really, really worked well for us. So I'm just going to grab this. Okay, so the where is in Balochistan. The why, why are we doing this? We're doing this because we're actually really fortunate and really blessed to be on this side of the fence. Yeah. We could easily have been on the other side. We could be the recipients of charity, but we're blessed that we're able to do something to actually help other people. My colleague Sophie and I went to Pakistan in October. We went on a field trip because we've done all this work. Loads of money have put us in our way. We've spent it. We had a responsibility to go there and see that the work was done according to our standards, according to our satisfaction. Was the work even done at all? It's in the country. There's a lot of corruption there. Hmm. We were responsible. So we went there and it was absolutely amazing. I mean, the, the work that's been done and the people and the things that they say, it, it, it absolutely, you know, it, it, moved, it moved us beyond, you know, to, to tears. I mean, she was bawling all the way through. I, just <laughs> <wish>. <laughs> I, had to, I had to be calm and Sophie down most of the time. <laughs> but if you think about it, you know, where we been, there's women there and, you know, they have the same hopes, same aspirations. They want their children to be healthy. They want the best for their families. But the conditions, it, it's, it's just chance, isn't it? It's just the way that life has dealt this card. They happen to be there, we happen to be here. But we've now connected, we've met them, we've got a responsibility now. So after going to Pakistan, after seeing all of this with our own eyes, after meeting the beneficiaries, meeting the people, it's inspired me even more, it's inspired us even more. And we're so fortunate because what we do is we share everything that we do, we share it with our donors. In fact, I think we overshare it. We'd rather do that because it's really essential. It's very, very important when somebody is trusting you and giving you money to spend it on X, Y, and Z. Number one, to do it. And number two, keep them updated. Let them know. Give them the feedback. So if we make a water project, so for example, our water project consists of we have water pumps, so those are those hand pumps that you can get water. So we put them in the homes of orphans, widows, very, very poor people that just would not be able to afford a luxury like that. You know, because they were used to walking for miles and miles to fetch water. In fact, we went to one village and the lake, we spoke a different language, you didn't understand them, but it was the language of humanity, we understood each other in that way. But the ladies were literally, they were just like banging their heads. They said that our heads are um, I don't know what the word is, but there's an early word for it. Hagge, which means that it, they, they burst. Split, split. Put, yeah, Banging. It, yeah, because we've been carrying water. and So imagine going from here to Solihull to fetch. How many buckets can you carry to? If you've got your children with you, maybe one each child can carry as well. And then walking back. Then you're going to think, how should I use that water now? Because I don't want to be make, making another trip. Often these days, we're making that trip three or four times a day. And they said, who are you people that brought a water source right here to our doorstep? So just imagine, just imagine the impact of that. How beautiful is that? Is there anything that can, you know, how, how can you even measure, the, you know, the, the effect of that? You just, you can tell I'm lost for words because I always am lost for words. 